four cylinders. You can go forward here a little bit. It's got some good torque. You can tell it's got to push a little bit, but it definitely goes. It definitely goes pretty nice. Yeah, I know we got a little bit. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. This is Peter. In today's video, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this 2024 Ford Bronco Everglades Edition. Now, before we go on, guys, I wanna give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Bronco Everglades. Big thank you to Tim, and I'm gonna put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have this 2024 Ford Bronco Everglades. Now this is a pretty cool edition of the Ford Bronco as I've not seen one in, uh, so recently. This has been out since 2022, but this is the first one I see uh, at this Ford dealer's uh, lot. Obviously this Everglades, mostly you have to kind of order them as the way this one was, and, uh, but unfortunately the customer did not take delivery, so it became just regular inventory for this dealership. Now what's special about this Ford Everglades, guys, is of course this is kind of your more hardcore off-road version of the Ford Bronco. Before going to the Bronco Raptor, going to a much harder trim this is kind of the most hardcore one you can do because you can see it's got a factory snorkel so that kind of tells you how serious this ford bronco everglades is for 2024 Ford has done a little bit of changes to the ford bronco uh, one of the changes is that they have dropped the regular the basically the base version now the big ben is your base version second change is that they have included the 12 inch screen your touch screen navigation but well, not with navigation but your regular 12 inch screen as a standard uh, screen for all the models and also basically for 2024 starting with the uh, with the balance models you get uh, basically a front or heavy duty front bumper that's basically the three changes that Ford has done for the 2024 ford bronco that's so looking at the styling of this Ford Bronco, as you can see, it's really cool. This one here is finished off in Asia Gray Metallic, which is a fantastic color. It's actually the same color that I did the Ford Bronco Raptor review on. If you guys want to, want to check out my channel, I did a review of Ford Bronco Raptor about a few months ago. I'll put that link up on the screen for you guys or up below in the description. But fantastic looking color for this Ford Broncos. Now, come around over here. This one here, as you can see, guys, this has got the black out front grille with the black Bronco lettering as part of this Everglades package. You got the big worn winch here on the very front. You can see we got steel bumpers. You got the, and you can see we got the wider fender flares as well to house this huge 13 15, 215 millimeter off-road tires for goodyear tires uh, as you can see we got the everglades decal as well here it's really cool the way that is the way it's kind of also if depending on the light hits it kind of changes color we also got this specific uh, everglades 17 inch wheels that come they come with this one's so really awesome looking as you can see we got the rock sliders here as well now the only way you can get this everglades editions is with the four door is on the four door version with the 2.2 liter inline four and with a 10 speed automatic you cannot get this everglades within a two door or with a seven speed or with a twin toro v6 this is basically the only way you can get these everglades bronco editions now one of the main things you see on this ford bronco everglades is that you have the factory stalled snorkel which is pretty cool as you can see awesome looking piece we'll talk about in just a few moments but come around guys you can see really cool the way the design of this SUV is I really like it the four-door version of it you got some roof as well this has got the hard top as well and of course it's all these panels come up including the doors but the way this thing just comes in around here looks awesome especially with this big thick off-road tires and we also have a same spare tire here in the back with the same type of wheel so what's special about this Ford Bronco Everglades editions well first of all we'll start up here guys of course this is kind of a in the way but as you can see this is a worn winch that comes with this Ford Bronco Everglades this is a 10,000 pound winch that basically comes standard it's, it's ready to go you got the little uh, you can insert the little control that's inside of this one here you can just put it in there and basically tow about 10,000 pounds with this winch now coming here in the front of course you got these steel bumpers here in the very front kind of reinforced steel really nice good bumper now here in the back of this wheel we got the off-road tuned Milstein shocks as well that come with this Everglades models here we got of course very aggressive territory altering tires these are pretty aggressive tires 35 inch and these are 350 millimeters thick so they're pretty good thick tire so obviously we get a race suspension and this gives you about 11.7 inches of ground clearance with this type of tire so we got a pretty good high suspension of course we got those rock sliders as well that help you if you're gonna take this going off-road now the Everglades edition the Everglades are about an hour and a half south of here on US 27 so this is not far away from where this is supposed to be, be 
born, right? And but also one of the cooler things about this one is the factory installed snorkel, which is a pretty cool option. Now this one, of course, you got two different plates here. You can see this plate here that gives you all the intake here, or you can switch the plate to the back one, it's kind of a more solid plate here. If you want to go to more serious water or you just want to cover some dust going into the intake, but that's a pretty cool feature that this ability that this, this snorkel gives you, it's about 36.4 inches of water forging. So this is, can get you the water pretty high. And also basically for what it did also, it kind of raised all the, uh, basically all the vents in the transmission, the transfer case, all those all those air vents kind of ra got raised up as well. So you have the most ability to go off-road. Kind of besides the Ford Bronco Raptor, this has got the second best ability to tackle deep water. So this is, if you want to go you know, deep water or go somewhere or unexplored, this is the vehicle for you. So coming here, as you can see, we also have the rock sliders there as well. We also have front skate plate and also skate pits on the bottom for to protect the underbody, gas tank and transfer case. Oh, and I really like those big, thick, you know, fender flips. This, has, of course, it's got to house those 315 millimeter all-terrain tires coming here in the back as we got the led lighting here and we also as i mentioned before we got the full-size spare tire now one thing that comes with this bronco balance as well if you open up the rear hatch as you can see it kind of opens up in a sequence here to kind of stretch it out and then of course we just raised the upper glass part here and it's pretty cool here in the back we got about 15 cubic feet of space here in the back i'll put that information for you guys up on the front but just quickly in the back here we got 12 volt connection lights and we got a little storage here you can do but the cool thing about it is this one here comes with a little tray that extends out and as you can see this kind of goes out you got the four name here they can put about 600 pounds that's what ford's uh website says they can put 600 pounds here away you can probably sit on this one it's like a metal plate that kind of sits back here you can put some things here cook you know just stand here whatever you want to do you can do it's a pretty cool little feature now all you have to do is just kind of put it back in its place really cool the way that is little tray that comes with its bronco everglades model so it's really cool the way it is of course you can take all the panels off now as you can see this one has the final leather that you can wash and you can take all these panels off as well and you got basically your roll protection here roll cage here for this ford bronco as you can see it's pretty cool interior i love this thing and it's just so cool it's such a cool vehicle especially now that the uh springtime is coming take it off road i gotta actually we gotta put this down first so I really love this way it is. You got little, your little wiper there and just go ahead and close the door back here, guys. It's really cool the way it is. Now this one is equipped with the tow package. This one here, if you want to put toy, put in your tow, your tow hitch, you can tow about 8,900 pounds is what the capability of this 2.4, 2.3 liter inline four engine can tow. And check it out what's power in this Ford Bronco Everglades. Let's go ahead and just put a little lever and this has got no hydraulic assistance. So you got to grab the little stick here and put it up here manually have a little stick there here we have the 2.3 liter ecoboost inline four twin scroll turbocharged engine this is producing 300 horsepower 325 pound feet of torque and this is going through a 10 speed automatic transmission of course through the four wheel drive system that this ford bronco has that's pretty cool obviously a pretty advanced off-road system now one funny thing is that this motor if you don't put the premium fuel this is this is producing 300 horsepower with premium fuel if you do not put premium fuel you go down to 275 so you're losing about 25 horsepower if you do not use premium fuel for those who didn't know but overall fantastic engine of course you cannot get the 2.7 liter twin turbo v6 with this everglades this is the only engine you can get with the everglades now uh, this engine you can pair it with a seven speed manual but it's not available in this everglades model but there we go guys here's your engine for this ford bronco everglades model let's go ahead and put this thing down back there get the little stick here put it back in its place and there we go and before we go on let's go ahead and check out what's the cost of this ford bronco everglades so as you can see guys here we have it on if you see i'm gonna put this build sheet on your screen to so look at it much better but here we have a 2020 ford everglades edition four door bronco done in asia gray with the dark vinyl seats inside this started off for the msr ps basically 55,720. the options on this bronco everglades are the asia gray metallic pin which is 995 500 for the trailer tow package and a total price of 59,110 dollars for this ford bronco everglades as you can see it's not a cheap uh, suv especially with manual seats and a 2.2 liter engine but you get a pretty cool looking off very rough road capable suv which is not easy to find especially with a snorkel and all these cool features but let me know what you guys think of the price but it, it is what it is guys with this new pricing of this ford broncos check of the back seats of this bronco everglades and as you can see here we have all kind of soft materials really nice materials it's all a little bit soft here on the side the windows there's no window controls here on the doors because you can definitely take these doors off if you're more pleased to now coming here to the interior we got the vinyl seats this is kind of called what four calls marine grade vinyl seats which are really nice it's kind of washable seats and you can see really nice kind of black and gray two-tone vinyl it's really nice the way this is we got the headrest right here you can see we got also a center armrest with a couple of cup holders and uh 
really nice the way this is i mean you can see it's kind of more rugged now down here we do have a bit of carpets but you can definitely take this out and i'll show you guys here we do have actually a little drain here so if you want to kind of wash this out and drain all the water you can do that as well it's a pretty cool feature you can do so you got a drain on this floors as well so you can wash them out really nice the way this is of course all these panels come out got a bit of a uh, storage space here in the bottom we got your net here and uh, over here that we got controls for your windows a couple of usb ports there as well and that's about it for this board bronco as you can see that's pretty cool the way this is kind of more rugged interior as you can see the more go off road and get it dirty and really use it in the uh, outdoors but there we go guys there's the back of this ford bronco Everglades, you can see you got the same type of thing here, just controls here for open close. There's no window controls here at all or mirrors because obviously everything's on board. If you want to take out the doors, you don't have all that stuff here with the windows, but usually that's pretty cool feature that this Bronco has. You also get a kit as well, just for also provides you with a little toolkit to take off all your doors as well. Now coming here, guys, this guy just manual seats, so it's no power or anything like that. So these are really cool. The same type of vinyl material as you can see there. In the very front, you can see we got also the floor mats there. Really cool the way this is. You also got a little bit of water. A little bit of a drain hole there as well as you can see there which is really cool really like the way this is of course we got all kind of more plastic interiors here in the very front but we do have a little coverage steering wheel we got your little grab handle there with a bronco and a little bit of a green line imported into that it's pretty cool the way this is kind of more of a rugged you know vehicle this is not meant to be a luxury or anything like that considering it's kind of you know competing with the jeep in the way it is so the kind of the lifestyle controls here for your lights and everything else as you can see there and we also have a little bit of there's basically the pull on your parking brake that's the parking brake right there the pretty cool interior let's go ahead guys and uh, jump in and before we go on let's go ahead and start this bronco up. i got the key with me you're gonna go ahead and press our start and start and get our engine started to get all this interior going out right now you see we got the four bronco logo there all kinds of graphics coming on this is for pretty cool interior i'm gonna just adjust my seat a little bit here now continuing yeah. guys with the interior here you can see we got the bronco name later on then we got a bit of kind of a dark uh, this kind of feels rugged interior trim here as you can see it's all in the same color which i like with no piano black or anything like that inside now coming here to the toby screen which is standard now on all the models here we got fisky audio we got also we got a pretty good decently sound speaker system in this one here just pretty good if i may say so and we got phone connections we also have navigation there as well as you can see if we press the nav we got the nav as well we got all kinds of applications this is pretty quick to the touch we got apple carplay and android auto amazon alexa and all that kind of things you can do now on this thing here as well little screen extra screen here for navigation and putting all kinds of things there on the screen which is pretty cool i believe this might also have a little bit of ambient lighting i'm not sure if this model includes it but we also got manual controls here for your volume here as you can see that's pretty nice to have down here we have your dual sony ac as you can see we got little digital gauges there to view your temperature we got also heated seats as well both seats which is really nice no heated seat no cool seats but we at least have heated seats as well and uh, down here we got a bit of more storage pressure on the bottom we got two usb ports we got the 10-speed automatic transmission there a couple of more couples and we have a little bit of bronco little lettering there with little embroidery which is really cool down here we got your window control as you can see there which all the windows are automatic up here as well mirror controls and if we lift this up here we have a little more storage space and we have a little winch uh, control there as well it's one one over here another 12 volt connection there as well but that's about it for this center armrest which is lockable as well a little bit of a handle there as you can see there coming here to the center we got the leather cover steering wheel, which is very nice you got all controls here for your part where cruise control and of course a little bit of uh see the doors are yes it is we got this the controls here for your digital culture as you can see we got the analog the uh, speedometer there we got all the rest of it here and basically in digital screens there are all kinds of information you can do there as well for this bronco everglades so but before we close the door let's go ahead and hear this 2.3 liter four cylinder engine this turbocharged basically the same motor that's in the ford explorer i mean it sounds like a four cylinder but let's close the door so before we go we got to check out our basically our goat modes here as you can see we got the goat go over any terrain so basically this could you drive modes and we got seven of them here on this we got normal we got echo we have sport which we're probably going to stay with slippery we have mud and ruts sand and of course rock and crawl those are basically your modes is shifting to to shift to that for no i'm going to hit okay because we're going to go back to and let's head back to i'm going to put it on sport because that's basically the type of channel we are so unfortunately you can't take it anywhere off road especially not something like a swampy thing where he's going to go and check out how this thing behaves on the road i'm sure this has got plenty of capabilities going off road but there we go guys see it basically and you can definitely put your little a little button here for your 
cruise control or off-road cruise control which is right there which is pretty cool and of course that works with your front locker rear locker basically your trail turn assist which is a pretty cool feature if you haven't seen that kind of helps you kind of locks the right rear depending on the way you're turning and helps you steer out of a tight corner especially off-road but there we go guys it's pretty cool interior to this ford bronco everglades really cool edition for sixty thousand dollars obviously it's quite a bit of a that should be a price but it is pretty capable as should be let's go ahead guys and go out and uh, check out how this drive let's go ahead and check out the reverse camera as you can see big 12 inch screen this is the same screen as in the f-150s and in the uh, super duties but got plenty of graphics no 360 degree camera but we do have rear sensors as you can see there and let's see the sensors go up but we do have trajectory lens there as you can see there but pretty cool the way this is guys pretty big camera and pretty clear graphics let's go out and uh, see how this girl drives now this is the first time i'm actually driving the Ford Bronco with the force cylinder engine. Let's see how this girl drives. And it's trying to get out here between these two cones because we got a pretty white tire there. So pretty cool looking SUV. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're turning, making the turn there. So let's check out how this drives with the force cylinder because this is the first time I'm driving the force cylinder in a Bronco. So it's a pretty cool looking SUV there. But uh, so pretty cool the way this thing is and looks, looks and yeah, I mean, it's a pretty interesting off-roader. I like this thing. Uh, let's see how this thing behaves with the big tires 350 millimeter off-road tires off-road suspension and uh, let's, let's bring out got the window controls here kind of like an old style BMW in the middle center center in the console here as I'm used to that but let's go guys and check out how this girl drives now, this has only got eight miles so I'm not gonna floor it just kind of checking out how this thing feels but we are in sport mode if I'm correct super smooth transmission Really interesting note to this four-cylinder engine, I'll be honest. Now, I'm not gonna floor it, I haven't drawn floor it yet, but man, this thing feels really nice though. You can definitely hear some wind up in the eight pillars here in the very top, because obviously this is a convertible and you're sure to hear some a lot of wind noise. But this thing feels pretty good though, it feels pretty stable. Not a lot of the more there's a lot more wind noise than there is like this per se tire noise. I don't hear any tires at all. You might hear him at higher speed. I'm doing 54 miles an hour, but this thing feels pretty stable, though. I mean, compared to a Jeep where you have to kind of, you know, wrestle it to keep it centered, laned. This is pretty smooth, though. Wow, I'm surprised how smooth this thing's driving with these wheels, with this wheel and tire combo. 35 inch tires, 350 millimeter tires. I can hear a little bit of tire noise, but not much, to be honest. Yeah, but the I mean, this has got a pretty direct steering comparison considering the tire package. I like it. This thing feels pretty solid and stable. All, no bouncing around, nothing like that. Feels pretty set to the ground, which I like. As I mentioned, guys, everything here, your fingertips, all the controls, everything's pretty well laid out. Uh, really nice the way this is. Also, the same as Jeep Wrangler, the, the one I drove a while ago. This also has Ford's latest and greatest in terms of technology, Ford Assist, all that, you know, blind spot detection, all that kind of stuff. That's also included with all these Ford Broncos. But this thing drives pretty well. I mean, actually, it's driving nice. It's comfortable. It, there's a bit of a road wind noise, but nothing crazy uncomfortable. I mean, most of these are not going to be driven at 80, 90 miles an hour on it. But, you know, this thing feels pretty good, though. Checking out the brakes a little bit obviously the brakes kind of not probably not the biggest considering the weight of these tires and oh yeah you're gonna press on the heart the pedal a little harder but it does turn pretty decently though to be honest feels pretty flat too now this two this 2.7 this foot this 2.3 liter has plenty of uh torque as you can see it gets up to speed pretty easily it's not doesn't feel like the engine is struggling to get this thing now is it this is no lightweight this is going to be at least a 5,000 pound vehicle i'll put the weight for you guys up on the screen but this is actually feels pretty good though it feels, it feels pretty stable considering the road and the tight we're doing 65 more of a you know highway speed and when it's two lane highway it doesn't feel like you're taking up the whole lane no, this is pretty nice i mean it's not super comfortable i mean there's a bit of wind noise on the top of the panels and all this but not on an uncomfortable level where you can have a conversation but this thing feels so i mean it feels light it feels very stable i'm surprised how stable it is with this type of barbara tire so ford did a good job with the with suspension tuning and all that stuff and the shocks feel really nice this built-in shocks do work well they're, they're, not, they're not transmitting any types of bumps or really harshness to them really nice the, the ride is really nice you can feel that it's a little bit taut but it's not um it's not 
you know unstable or nervous or or bouncing like a say a full-size truck is that's really nice i like this i really like this ford bronco this would be a hood off off-roading especially going to the mountains or even at the beach here would be a fantastic thing so let me know what you guys think of i like this thing this is pretty cool looking suv obviously it's not a what we call it cheap it's about price comparatively with the with the wrangler um but i like this thing this is a pretty cool awesome now obviously th this four cylinder you can control here a little bit it's got some good torque you can tell it's got to push a little bit but it definitely goes definitely goes pretty nice yeah i know we got a little low mileage but it's got some good torque and it i'm sure this is going to get some pretty decently good mileage um i forgot what that is because it's got to be in the mid-20s for highway and lower 20s or higher teens for for high for city but uh it's not a bad engine overall it doesn't feel bad to be honest with you it feels pretty good and this thing has got pretty pretty decently direct steering i mean now you can tell it's leaning a little bit but it didn't feel too bad overall on the road it feels kind of smooth ride and over here in this bump right here yeah, the suspension just sucks them up pretty easily. Pretty cool the way this thing is. But let me know, guys, what you think of this 2024 Ford Bronco Everglades Edition. I think it's a pretty cool edition. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Well, the brakes, yeah, you have to step on the brakes pretty hard because there's not a lot of braking power. Look like it feels like a little bit better pattern. But there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys made it in, in, into this video right now, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of this for Everglades. Is it a cool package or you prefer just kind of go to the Madlands or the Sasquatch or just go to the Raptor if you're going to need this type of capability. But pretty cool overall. I mean, obviously, if you're going to just kind of put it up here and just kind of go on top of that, this just easily goes on top, as you can see. And it's just a, easily goes off road pretty easily. Doesn't take anything to go around with these huge tires. Let's check out the reverse camera real quick once again. And as you can see there, pretty clear camera, big graphics, good graphics with this camera. And then we got some rear sensors there as well. But uh, there we go, guys. 2024 Ford Bronco Everglades Edition. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for those that have subscribed. You guys have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.